Here we are. And not a moment too soon. A lot of you don't know what the cash bail system even is. Let me explain it to you. A cash bail system in Illinois, the law was taken away and voted on to be eliminated on January 1st, 2023. That means people who have committed crimes of kidnapping, burglary, arson, um, robbery, all of these charges would be eliminated. And people will be free to roam the streets. And not just roam the streets, they'll be let back into the world of society, DUI arrests. All of these felony charges will now be open to the world. Well, to the state of Illinois, and crime will increase. Because now people won't be arrested for violent crimes anymore. So people can just grab you, throw you in a van, and drive off. And it wouldn't be considered a violent act. What in the hell is going on around here? This was voted on in the middle of the night. This law was put in place at nighttime. While you were sleeping, they were changing laws. So on January 1st, 2023, the state of Illinois is going to remove that act and that whole system that was in place. Sounds very strange to me. Something that wicked people would do. This thing is gonna turn into what we already knew was coming. Like I told you, they all they love to tell you what's coming in these movies. Remember the purge? This is basically it. You're gonna see a purge. People are already moving out. They're getting out of Illinois. Controlled chaos. And that's one thing I've always learned and known. You can't control chaos. These things have a mind of their own. January 1st, 2023. That's going to be like D Day. That's when the law goes into effect. Well, the way I look at, at it right now, a lot of people got some decisions to make. Adapt or die. This is why I'm at the range. This is why I will have shells. This is why I will be prepared for what is to come. This 
process of elimination that they got us all caught up in. This is why we're getting knocked off. Yeah. You know, this is why I try to tell people we got to pay attention to all the signs. I'll be addressing the queen on the Patreon so that you have a clear understanding why I haven't said anything about the queen. I think you have a better understanding on the Patreon. Anger, frustration, that controls the destiny of the disappointment I have in these laws. Or how they be manhandled, manipulated, because they already control the minds. They have the masses by the brain. So if they have the masses by the brain, then can somebody tell me what the hell is going on up there before I get upset? If we got the masses by the brain, we control the votes. We control how they vote. ran for re-election even though he had 9-11 on his side he wanted to ensure he won a re-election so on the day of to vote they put up a post by Osama bin Laden claiming that he is rooting for Bush to lose Now, there's no translator really translating anything that'll, that he's actually saying in the message. And that message looked like it was recorded like back in like 91 something, but claiming in the message he sent, saying no, he's voting for Kerry or whatever. He wants John Kerry to win. Osama bin Laden wants John Kerry. It's like, what? Put V. Harris in timeout. He don't realize that you know, there's a time to troll and it's a town to shut the F up. This is one of those times to shut the F up and listen. This is saving your life too, dummy. You think just because they got this law here in Illinois, they ain't finna pass this around the world? You better, you better guess again. They're gonna put hardened felon criminals back on the streets and people won't be charged for these harsh crimes. They could easily go to court and say, hey, y'all changed the law. I gotta get out of here. And then the people who are not locked up, they don't go out and commit these crimes. If you knew that if you did a robbery, right, what's stopping you from doing a robbery? Going to jail, right? You know if you do a robbery, you're going to jail. It's it, cut and dry. You go to jail, you do not pass go. That is the rule, that is the understanding. You break these laws, you commit these crimes, you go to jail. So that keep people at bay from doing crimes. They don't wanna to go to jail. Now you look at all of the other scenarios that's involved and you say to yourself, well, damn, I 
don't want to go to jail. This dude right here is on my back. What options do I have left? This is it. This is your options. on the wrist. It won't be a felony charge or nothing. Now that this act is gone, people be like, well, damn, I'm going to just go take it. What's going to stop me? I'm not going to go to jail. If, if I do, I'm going to get right back out and go over there and take it again. So, they're going to have to restructure the ground rules here because without these rules in play, or in place, you know, it's going to be a lot of anarchy.